You notice some of your walls might need a little refresh. Hmm. Well, I've got a fun idea for you. The color experts at Miller Paint have the perfect way to add a pop of personality to your home. All right, so I am here at Polka Dot Interiors in Northeast Portland with Poojee Share from Miller Paint. So good to see you. Great to see you too. Okay, so today we're going to talk about some fun new spring colors that you guys have yes. and an awesome DIY that you're going to want to make with them. Okay, so these are fun. Tell yeah. me about it. So we chose four muted pastels for our spring color trends this year. So we're emerging slowly into spring, coming off of the hard year that we've had. We're seeing that people are really still craving soft colors, peaceful colors, um, which is represented by the green and the blue that are in our spring color trends. But because it's spring and it is a hopeful time and we're feeling more optimistic, we did infuse some brights and some warmer colors into our spring color trends as well. So the four colors are pale green tea, which is kind of this minty green color. This muted citron is called Fire Dance, which is a beautiful accent. We have Kingdom's Keys, which is this vintage peach color, and then Ice Flow, which is a beautiful gray blue. Now, I know some of you might be wondering, but if I use all four of these together, is it gonna look like I'm like in an Easter basket or something? But no, there is a way to combine them. That's really cute. Thanks so much. Yeah, we chose a terrazzo wall. Um, as the design, which is kind of right behind us, which we've seen is a way to bring all four of these colors into your space. Terrazzo is a material that actually was uh, invented in Italy in um, about 500 years ago um, by Venetian plasters. And so they collected all of the marble scraps and put it together with a binder, usually cement. And so that ultimately became terrazzo because when you grind it down, you see all these little flecks of the marble and it's a popular material now that people use for countertops or flooring and things like that. So we've taken that and translated it into a DIY. All right, so I'm gonna get my, my apron on and ready here because we are going to actually paint some of this. We try it out. Uh-huh. Well, so it's a super simple DIY, and the first step is to go to Miller Paint's blog and find our Terrazzo Wall blog where you'll download stencils. So you'll print this out, and so this becomes basically the template for your design. So you'll cut out each one of these, and you'll trace it on the wall. And so if you're a good tracer, you can you know, use the paper, but I'm not a very good tracer. So what I did is I, <laughs> is I put it onto cardboard. So I trace it onto cardboard and cut the cardboard out, and then that lets you have a nice edge when you're going around the design. So I'll give you this uh -huh. if you want to trace that, and I'll get you a pencil, and we can start. So I, I have my, my stencil. I'm going to trace onto the wall. Uh, now, is there any kind of rule of thumb for, for spacing and placement if you're trying to decide what's going to look good? The great thing about this DIY is that it's super free form and really organic. So what I did is I just made sure that I had kind of equal amounts of larger shapes to smaller shapes, and you can go pretty asymmetrical with your design too. I like that. There's no wrong answers. And this cardboard makes it much, much easier to trace than trying to follow a piece of paper. I would definitely suggest cutting it out. Now you just need some paint. Is there any technique, would you say, to making sure you get enough paint on your brush? You know, for this one, I would say you probably don't want too much. I would, like, dab it, yeah, on the side like that. And you're using a one and a half inch brush, which is a good size, but you could even go smaller to a one inch. This is a good one, a good size for these bigger shapes, though. All right, so we'll get in here and start getting some paint on. And you can do the middle first like you're doing, or sometimes I start with the outline and just follow follow the outline of the pencil, yeah. And that's why it's great too to use an angle brush because you can use the top part as more of like a pointer. This is why you're the pro. <laughs> if someone has a specific color in their house that they're trying to match some stuff to, if, if spring isn't quite their palette, what do you suggest for picking some good, like coordinating colors to do this kind of project? Um, well, we have a lot of great color tools in the store, so we've got um, brochures in any Miller paint store that have color combinations in them, so if you wanted to check those out. Also, I suggest looking at artwork. Um, if you have a favorite piece of artwork, look at the palette that's used in that piece of art to help you decide, or maybe a rug. There's a color, certain colorway in there um, that you can look at, but you also can't go wrong if you just go monochromatic too. And there you have it. My first terrazzo piece done. Great job. Thanks. This is a lot of fun. And I think this would be a really cute accent wall. 
in somebody's house in a little space, whatever you need. Exactly. Mm-hmm. Okay, so free sampler Saturdays, if people wanna come pick up some paint, head to Miller. Every Saturday in May through July, you can get a free sampler limit one per customer. So you could collect all your colors. There you go. Collect your four and make a wall for yourself. Fuji, thanks so much. This was a really fun project. Thanks so much for coming, Emily. And of course, and we'll have all the details you need on coin.com. There you have it. Love and, it. Uh, cool. Yes, free sampler Saturdays. So mm -hmm. tomorrow and then, yes, yeah, Saturdays, I think now through July, mm -hmm. Fuji said you can go pick up a little free sampler can, and that's all you need for a project like that. So. Yes, yeah, I might have to go take them up on that. colors mm -hmm. and get your own little terrazzo wall going. Love it. Hey, coming up, we are checking out what's sizzling at Sizzle Pie. Some special brunch pie to